Welcome to the Mizzou Health News Network, your source for information about medical care, education, and research at the University of Missouri. Our region's largest and most comprehensive orthopedic surgery hospital will expand in 2016. University curators recently approved a $35 million addition to MU's Missouri Orthopedic Institute. The three-story addition will add four operating rooms, as well as recovery, radiology, and pharmacy space. University hospital renovations also were approved by curators. More than $19 million will be used to improve private patient rooms and technology over the next two years. The quality of patient care at the University of Missouri continues to earn national recognition. U.S. News & World Report has again named MU Healthcare one of the top hospitals in the state with the most specialties recognized in central Missouri. MU Healthcare was deemed high-performing in diabetes and endocrinology, ear, nose, and throat care, nephrology, orthopedics, pulmonology, and urology. It's a recognition of the dedication of our excellent physicians, our excellent nurses, and our other healthcare professionals. It's a recognition that they're the best in their craft and they're the best at getting better. And maybe most importantly, it's a recognition of their commitment to patient-centered care. MU Healthcare is also celebrating continued improvement in other rankings, including exceeding its patient satisfaction and financial goals in its last fiscal year. Very good news is that we ended the year at 79% of our patients rating us a nine or a 10. Our goal was 77. 78 was stretch, and we thought we were more than ambitious in setting those goals. We are very lucky that we have a staff who really want to give it their all when it comes to patient satisfaction, and they delivered this year. And what's nice about this is we get to have this conversation coming off a really great year uh, where we've grown and where our patient satisfaction uh, is continuing to rise. And so we've already got momentum. The hardest thing in the world is to uh, start from a standing uh, point and get some momentum, but we've already got some momentum. The accomplishment coincides with an unprecedented increase in MU Healthcare's market share, which grew more than 3% during the same period. This growth is the largest single year increase since MU Healthcare became its market leader more than five years ago. The American College of Surgeons' top award for resident educators has been presented to the University of Missouri's Dr. Jacob Quick. A graduate of MU's medical school, Dr. Quick was selected out of more than 120 applicants and thousands of resident physicians across the country. To receive this award from the American College of Surgeons is a real honor. Uh, the group of people that were nominated for this award were scholarly, talented individuals. Um, so to receive this award from them is a, clearly um, a great thing. He received the Resident Educator Award from the American College of Surgeons at its annual meeting in Washington, D.C. Mercy, Cox Health, and the University of Missouri Health System leaders are moving forward with plans to increase medical student class size at MU and create a clinical campus in Southwest Missouri. Governor Jay Nixon recently released $10 million in annual state funding for the class size expansion and clinical campus in Springfield. Both of these health systems have excellent clinical training facilities for students, and this would place these students in one of the fastest growing areas of the Show Me State. This initiative is projected to provide more than 300 additional physicians for our state, addressing a critical need for our citizens. Leaders of the three health systems, as well as leaders of Springfield's Chamber of Commerce, will discuss their progress at a corporate roundtable November 25th. A ceremony was held by the University of Missouri's Coulter Translational Partnership Program to award new grants to six teams of scientists. Physicians and engineers at MU received the awards to help translate their research into commercial health care products. They chose research projects that had both great scientific potential but also those that met a very well-defined clinical need. We really believe that each one of these projects will in time benefit patients in a very real and practical way. MU is one of only 15 academic institutions in the country 
and the only university in Missouri to have a culture translational partnership program. A compound found in grapes and in red wine could help treat multiple types of cancer. In the Journal of Surgical Research, MU's Dr. Michael Nickel describes how the compound resveratrol can make certain tumor cells more susceptible to radiation treatment. The research, which studied melanoma cells, follows a previous MU study that found similar results in the treatment of prostate cancer. The next step is for researchers to develop a successful method to deliver the compound to tumor sites and potentially treat colon, rectal, and other types of cancers. Well, we're currently investigating resveratrol in combination with radiation therapy in colon and rectal cancer. We think this may be able to play a role in patients with rectal cancer who are commonly treated with a combination of chemotherapy and radiation therapy now. Breast Cancer Awareness Month was promoted across the University of Missouri in October. Signs, lights, parties, raffles, races, educational campaigns, and videos were used to share information about a cancer that affects an estimated one in seven women. I would advise anyone, any female, that if you feel a lump, do not hesitate. If you do not have insurance, do not hesitate because it is one of those things that it can take your life swiftly if you do not take care of things right away. To learn more about medical care, education, and research at the University of Missouri, visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.